right, I've been uh, tagged. I've been tagged by uh, Scott at the Real Show Barbecue um, to do the Crazy for Food tag. Um, this is a game of tag, of course. And uh, uh, there's a set of questions. There's 30 questions, and I'm just going to dive straight in and run through them all now. All right. Uh, first question. Uh, what food would you eat every day? Steak. I could eat steak every day. Steak and mushrooms, steak and eggs every day. No problem. What is your favourite restaurant? Um, I think it's still open, but it, it, it was um, a beautiful restaurant uh, called English's Restaurant, and it's in the lanes at Brighton on the south coast of, uh, of England. Uh, it's a fabulous little place. Um, I, I haven't been there for a long, long time, so I'm not sure if it's still open, but I really, really love that place. All right. Um, what city has the best food you have ever had? Singapore, hands down, the, the best. It's just amazing. Great street food, great restaurants. Um, n never, never never seen anything like it and i did live in hong kong for two years as well um hong kong is amazing but singapore pips it uh it's just got a bit extra um what uh what do you get on your sub um i always tend to go for something meaty and i i i, I really like that sweet onion sauce on it if i go to subway um, but my favourite sub of all probably would would be a, a, a shrimp po' boy sandwich. That is just amazing. All right. Uh, what do you get on your pizza? I, gen I generally don't eat pizza, but I, um, I do like anchovies on pizza. I'm into that salty fish thing. Yeah. All right. Uh, is there a food you have always wanted to try? I, I would really like to go into the Himalayas and try the food there. Uh, I've had Nepalese food, but that was cooked in the UK. Um, and I kind of fancy uh, I fancy him uh, trying the Himalayan food. All right. Um, tell me about your worst restaurant experience. Yes. Um... I suppose it was um, quite a long, long time ago, and I was in one of those kind of moods, you know. And I went into a, a a restaurant chain at the time called Bernie Inns, and they they were a steak restaurant. And <laughs> the steak was so small, it's like yo, oh, this, this the waiter comes over and asks you. How was you? How did you find your steak? And I'll say quite by accident, and moved over a mushroom, and there it was. I I can't really think of any of anything uh, better than that. That's just a funny anecdote. Um, who's the better cook, your mum or my dad? I would have to say my mum. Uh, she wasn't a brilliant cook. I learned to cook at a, a very young age. But my dad was kind of limited to sandwiches and blokey things, you know. Um, not much of a cook, Dad. Mum mum was a really good at baking and things like that. She made really nice cake. What is the one food you just fail making? Scotch pies. And a, a, a real big thumbs up and respect to Keith, Keith Cooks. Because he... He nailed it. He he went for it. He dived straight in, and Keith's a warts and all uh, guy. Um, <clears throat> but he did this. Um, he did this thing on Scotch pies, and it it's amazing. I I keep trying, but I'm not making anything good enough to to present to you boys and girls yet. So um, it's coming. It's coming. I promise. Name your least favorite foods. Well, sweets. I, I'm, I don't really have a sweet tooth much at all. It, you'll probably notice on my channel I don't do that many desserts. Um, I don't have a very sweet tooth. Uh, so, of all foods, I would say sweets are probably my least favourite. 
Uh, raw or cooked veggies? I'm a meat and raw veg guy. Meat and salad. I'm I'm a caveman. You know that's it. Caveman. Raw veg. Uh, how do you like your steak? Hemorrhaging. I like my steak rare. Pull the horns off. Wipe its butt. Uh, do you enjoy cooking or baking better? I, I believe that cooking is an art and baking is a science. Uh, I enjoy cooking. I enjoy creating. Uh, baking's more uh, pretty rigid and following recipes and things like that. No, I, I prefer cooking. Right. Uh, what's your favourite fast food place? That's a difficult one because they all sell garbage. Um... If if I just limit myself to the chicken, it's KFC, um, because I, I I like their chicken. I just don't like all the all the rest of the stuff they sell. The chicken's all right. It's gone downhill in recent years, but it, it's um, it's it's still it's still probably my favourite uh, uh, fast food place. Name a food place you wish it was closer to you. <laughs> yes. Southern American barbecue. The nearest place we've got is in Llandidno, and it's well, it's it, it's it's in Ross on Sea, which is near Llandidno, and that's called Hickory's, and it's a really good barbecue. And I really wish it was closer because I probably eat there a lot more often. Um, yeah, definitely. Ultimate favorite dessert. I have done a video on that. Uh, and that's the um, uh, coconut cream pudding with mango coolie with the mango sauce on it um, that is like heaven to me it's really good uh, of because it's more tangy than sweet and more creamy than you know sweet again it's it's a wonderful dessert and it and it really really goes well with the sort of foods that i i enjoy most um very much so all right um what food do you gravitate more towards at a party or get together? Anything on the bone. Chicken legs, chicken wings, chops. Any, it's on the bone, yeah? You get me? On the bone, right. Favourite foods to eat at Christmas? Uh, I, 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 pref I actually prefer goose and duck. Uh, I... I a traditional British Christmas fair <clears throat> going back a hundred years would have been goose. It wouldn't have been turkey. Uh, turkeys came over from the New World and uh, kind of made an invasion. Um, but uh, the the Dickens poem "Christmas is coming, the geese are getting fat." Please put a penny in the old man's hat. Um, so I I really do like those traditional meats. They are known to be fatty. Um, but there are smart ways of cooking them to mitigate the, the, the fat content on them. I might have to do a video on that soon. All right. All right. Um, I'm going to try and look into the lens because I keep looking over there at my image on this camera thing. So uh, give me a break. <laughs> right. Next thing. What's the first food that comes to mind now? Steak. I've got steak on the brain. I love pies, I love steak, and I love sausages. So, yeah, steak. And I've, the last meal I had was steak with mushrooms. <laughs> right, uh, do you have any weird wild food habits? I, um, I noticed Scott in his um, version of this mentioned that he'd like to try rattlesnake. Well, I actually have. Um, in 1976, I was stationed with the British Army in the British Army training unit in Suffield in Canada. And uh, there was this guy, this civilian guy used to come in. He was a uh, Cree Indian, actually. And he used to come in with these snakes in cages and uh, he'd, he'd chuck them on the barbecue. And they were, uh, so I have eaten rattlesnake and, and it wasn't disappointing at all. It was all right. Okay. Uh, so that's the weirdest thing I've eaten. I've also eaten some amazing things in, in Hong Kong and in Macau. I suppose that one of the weirdest things I ate in Macau would have been <coughs> a sea slug. 
uh, a sea cucumber, I think, or a sea squirt, they're, they're sometimes called, weird looking thing. See if I can get you a picture. Uh, and the texture of that was a bit like, uh, there's a Cantonese dish where they've, they'll they cross cook, they'll, they'll fry pork rind uh, until it's crispy and then they'll poach it again into in a sauce. So then it relaxes the crispiness and becomes very gelatinous. Uh, and the I I think that texture was the nearest I could describe to to what sea slug is like. Uh, the Cantonese people uh, tend to they, they tend to prize those gelatinous textures. Um, most of the British people I know don't like them. They think it's slimy, but um, I love it because I'm like that. <laughs> right. <laughs> what holiday? Is your favourite for f food? Uh, it would have to be Trinidad. Uh, I I was there back in summer, and many of you, my friends, uh, will know that I I have a bit of a love affair with Trinidad. I love that place, um, and it knocked me off my feet. And the food is spicy, wonderful, varied incredible food in, in Trinidad I love it really it's just it's the best food I've had uh, in in a holiday I think the most exciting anyway what's one food you'll never try I I, I really hope there there isn't a uh, food I'll never try uh, I I don't fancy eating bugs but I, I would give them a try I mean I, I think I ate some kind of uh, cricket when I was in Hong Kong some little cricket thing and it was it, it, it was all right it wasn't disgusting it was it, it was kind of tasty but not much to it if you know what I mean do you know your best friend's favorite food well my longest friend is a guy called Pete Wells, who, I, who I've who i known since the age of 16. Um, and he was a comrade of mine in the British Army. Um, and he's a bit like me. <laughs> he likes his meat. And he's an exceptionally good cook. So I, I, would, I would probably say that Pete would go more for the meaty things. Uh, I remember as young soldiers, we'd drive down the, uh, the town in Gudersloe in Germany and we'd tuck into all these different meaty snacks uh, and uh, an ice cream parlour, but I won't go into that. That was amazing. Right. Um, what's the best thing your mum makes? The best thing my mum made was a was a fruit cake, and it was really really good. It was really good. She could bake. She'd dehydrate a piece of lamb, but she could certainly bake. So um, it was a fruit cake. She made a gorgeous, rich, moist fruit cake. That was wonderful. What's your favourite style of egg scrambled, poached, boiled? over easy or sunny side up poached every time i love poached eggs in fact if you saw my recent uh, breakfast at the whistle stop cafe video you'll see me eating poached eggs in that one name your favorite restaurant that is closed down well if it is english's and it is closed down it's english's <laughs> uh oh apart from that i really can't think um i i, I don't know I really don't know. Um, I can't. I can't answer that one. Right. Um, do you like your bread toasted light or dark? I, I've always enjoyed lighter toasted bread, um, and that's because I like the flavour of butter, and I don't want anything to overwhelm it. Question twenty eight. Do you like spicy foods? Is the Pope a Catholic? Do bears? I like spicy foods. I love spicy foods. I live for spicy foods. That's why I like Trinidad. Um, do you like seafood? Same answers. Love it. Love seafood. I, I, I particularly love shrimp and lobster. Who wouldn't? Um, 
but I like any kind of fish, and I love I love the English fish, uh, battered battered fish, uh, fried fish, which is right really good. Um, uh, the first food that comes to mind that is green. I just recently seen a food ranger video and um he was eating he was he was in mexico and he was eating this green prickly pear um cactus and it looked really interesting and i, I really hankered after it. i'd really love to give it a try that's that's another food that i really like to try is that green prickly pear cactus um, that kind of lit me up looking at that, so I really, I really fancy trying that. Um, yeah, yeah, that was really good. So uh, anyway, um, and that concludes it. Now I've got to tag three channels. <laughs> so who will I pick on? I think I'm going to nominate Cook You Bastards. Uh, he's a good sport. He's going to go for it. And I'm definitely going to nominate uh, a new friend, Cooking with CJ. CJ's a great guy. Does some really fun videos. Um, so connect with all that and go give them two some love. And I think, I think we'll go for Rick's food channel. I keep nominating him, but he, somebody always gets to him before me. So we'll, we'll, we'll try it at the third time to see see if uh, see if anything happens there so that's rick's food channel all right anyway that concludes that's my uh, that's my 30 questions done and it, that's the crazy for food tag thanks for watching If you have enjoyed this video, please give it a thumbs up. If you would like to follow my channel, please subscribe and be sure to click the bell icon to receive notification of all my upcoming videos. Thanks for watching.